Welcome back to the channel. So I would love to clear up the confusion whereby some videos are telling you that you can remove your gas or electricity meter, replace it with your own and somehow magically get free gas and electricity because quoting some videos, it's your birthright. Well, if you think about this logically and with some common sense, that's simply not true and it's simply not how it works. Now, if you want to replace your meter with one that you've bought yourself, first of all, you're going to need the permission of your energy supplier if you want them to continue supplying you, that is, because if you change your meter and you don't get their permission, they will most likely be within their rights just to cut you off because it's probably in their terms and conditions that you use their meter. But you'd have to check their terms and conditions to see whether they do impose that requirement on you. Nonetheless, Less, and either way your meter is there to tell your energy supplier how much gas and electricity you have used so that you can pay for it because let's get down to basics these natural resources are drilled and pumped and sourced somewhere by the energy companies and then they are piped or wired to your property with the national infrastructure that we have in this country now I don't know why it is that some people somehow believe that this is all supposed to be free or that there is any way of getting this for free it's simply not not true and for anyone that's got away without paying for it for a certain amount of time they will be in debt for however much they've used and they will have to repay it at some point if people have genuinely gotten away without paying for it then it's literally that they have got away without paying for it it doesn't mean that it's free and it doesn't mean that it's right in fact worse still it can be considered dishonest and therefore illegal and a criminal offense to take that energy with the intention of not paying for for it. So it really is as simple as that. There isn't really that much more to say. You can change the meter, but if your energy supplier requires their permission in their terms and conditions to swap it for your own meter, that's fine, but you'll still have to give them the meter reading so that they know how much to bill you for. And if there is no meter at all, or you just simply don't give them the meter readings, then don't be surprised if they cut you off and don't be surprised if they come chasing you for the money, take you to court and try to end up bankrupting you. Because if you use the energy, you're going to need to pay for it. So please share this with anyone that you know is doing this, that you are worried about. And of course, thank you for watching.